Hi guys, welcome to my walkthrough of games episode 3. Let's start a new game right away. And here we go. Good evening, everybody! Welcome back to the games! It's the second and the last day, and Ashley is starting to wake up. She was really fearless yesterday. I'm looking forward to seeing how she'll do tonight. Now, people, I don't want to spoil anything, and there's some really cool stuff that's going to happen. So, without further ado, let the second day of the games begin! Alright, so let's wake up. It's night time. I'm really hoping you guys you guys can hear the game audio also, because I I'm not really sure if the audio levels are good. But yes. Let's go in this direction. There's this path here we can follow. And also, if you pay close attention, well, you don't really even have to pay close attention to see this, that the area is the same as in the end of the last episode. But yeah, let's go. Let's just follow this path here. I actually tried to record this already, but my computer crashed. Yeah, my computer is a bit messed up. And for some reason it's it's having a really hard time trying to handle Soma. So I don't know what's why that's such a difficult thing for my computer, but yeah, I'm really hoping it's it's gonna work now. So yeah, let's go through this door here. Ooh, that was fast. Uh, okay, Hello? so... Just answer if you can hear me! Uh, isn't there anyone here? Yeah, sorry about that. I really don't want to talk over any dialogue. So yeah, there's not much we can do here. We just have to walk forward. Because that's the only way to go. And yeah, there's this open door there that we should investigate. There's room here and there's also a cassette tape. People say that the house nearby is haunted. I've heard about many sightings or things like that. However, it's the only way out of here. I'm gonna make my way there and get the hell out of here. I advise you to do the same. Yes, that's my voice, but let's move on. Okay, so let's go through this door here. Of course, listening to the tape isn't mandatory, but it's, well, it's part of the story, so yeah. Okay, this is where it crashed last time I tried to record. But yeah, seems to be working now, so that's good. There's this road here that we should follow. And a spooky house in the middle of a forest. There must be somebody inside. Okay. So, if you want to, you can explore this area here, but there's really not much to be found. But if you're like me, you like to explore stuff, so... But yeah. <laughs> All 
Alright, and now we are inside a spooky house. So, let's look around first. And yeah, you have the flashlight enabled already at the start of the game, so you can always use that. There's some notes around, lying around here. Uh, yeah, if you want to read that, just pause the game. Uh, I'm in the video, not the game. And yeah. Because I don't want to waste time reading them right now. And yeah, there's the first aid kit here. But there's a big chance you haven't gotten injured yet. Because there hasn't been hasn't been any enemies yet, so. And yeah, there are a couple of rooms here. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's much to be found in here, but there's another another note inside here, right here on the table. Yeah. Anyways, let's go through here. There's a cassette tape here. Pull the switch behind the clown. Okay, and let's go here. Ugh, what is that? Ugh, oh, smells awful in here. And yeah, there is this trap door that is locked. And we need to open it up. And like the cassette tape said, we need to find a switch that, that's located behind a clown. So, it's not too difficult. It's actually right over here. I mean, this map isn't too big, so it's easy to find. Come on. Excellent. And yeah, we can go on back to the trap door. What was that? Did I just see some glitching textures? No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. I'm just going crazy. But, anyways, let's drop down from here. And Ashley's through the first section. She definitely seems more determined this time around. I also want to take this opportunity to thank our wonderful outdoor scenario designers. They did an excellent job at, you know, crafting a convincing forest inside an underground hangar. But yes, I wish Ashley luck in the next area. I really do. Okay. Uh, and I really need to change that line there, you know, creating, crafting, uh, yeah. More of this? Jesus. Ugh, I think I stepped on it. Mm, yeah, that's a bit nasty, but there's a cassette tape buried in this flesh growth. This is it. I didn't realize that things down here. Guess I'll have to avoid it somehow. Yeah, I'm really hoping the audio levels are good, cause it's quite low for me, but it shouldn't be too low for you. I'm really hoping so, but yes, anyways, let's go over here. You can actually interact with this, but it's no use, because the valve is stuck. So, let's go here. Oh yeah, there's an enemy around here, so let's be careful. Let's wait for a moment. And should be fine now. Okay, let's go forward. And let's go here. There's also this first aid kit in case you get injured in this area. But yeah, let's try to keep it quiet and go inside here. Come on, close. Okay, there's a cassette tape here. The master is after me, he knows I'm here. I was looking for the exit when I turned around and saw him in the distance watching me. It's gonna be a whole lot tougher to get out now. Okay, and now it's gonna go uh, through here. Ooh, come on now. Let's wait for a moment. I think it's over that side, so we should be fine. Let's go here. 
and let's not look at it, cause if if we look at it, it's gonna see us. Anyways, there's this other first aid kit down in that direction, but we don't have to, have to go there, so let's just go in here, through this door here, close the door behind us, and now we gotta do some jumping. Lovely platforming in Soma. Like this. And let's go here. This door is locked. Actually, actually we cannot even interact with most of these doors here. Uh, so... But this one, yes. We can go through here. To the next level. There's something wrong with this place. I'd better be careful. Mm, yes. So, let's listen to this. Listen to me. In order to get to safety, you have to go through the forest and enter the factory. It's safer there. Okay. Yes. There is definitely something wrong with this forest. So, let's stay on the boxes. Okay. This is a bit weird. You cannot, cannot hear my footsteps on here. In here, I mean. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, that's really odd. Hmm, I, I really don't, don't know what's causing this. But yeah, let's stay on the boxes. Yeah, you should be fine as long as you stay on the boxes. Ah, uh, yeah, there's monsters in here. More than one actually, so you gotta be careful down. Come on, man. Okay, let's wait for a moment till this guy comes down a bit and... Okay, let's go. Jump. Yeah, you need to be fast when you go through here, but you can make it in time if you're fast. So, it's not like impossible or anything. Ah, there's more. How lovely. Okay. Let's crouch for a moment. Because these guys can actually lose us if they cannot see us for a moment. Okay. Now let's go here. Ah, dear. Oh. Hello, guys. Yeah, there's like three of them in this area, so yeah, that's a problem. But yeah, let's keep running. We should be fine. Just stay on the boxes. And here is the factory. So, let's run here. The entrance is behind these bushes here. Right in here. And yeah, to the next level. And she survived the forest of death. That's impressive. Now, I know you're all dying to know who these hurdlemen used to be. Do you remember the three people who lost their lives during the teamwork game? Gary, Marco, and Max? Great people. Survived till the last two levels. Yes, it's them. Reanimated and genetically mutated for your amusement. How lovely. But anyways, let's keep going. So, there's this first aid kit here in case you got injured in the forest of death. And let's go. If you paid close attention, you might have seen this something walking around at the distance in there. Ash? Ash... Ashley... That's... Huh... Yes, that's your name! But anyways, there's not much to be found in this area. Uh, I mean, you, you can interact with the door here, but it's not really openable, so let's just go. Oh, 
Also, there's a hole here, uh, but nothing to be found inside, so you don't really have to go down there like I did for some reason. Okay, and let's move on to the next area. Okay, so let's let's go here. And once again, there is not much to be found in here. But I'm just gonna show you guys the environments, because I spent a lot of time making these, so it's nice to sometimes show them off, you know, uh, a little bit at least. And there's a button here that doesn't truly really work. And yeah, let's go up these stairs. Everything is getting blurry. It's flashback time. Hello, this is Ashley Redwood. I'm interested in joining the games. I'm from California, but I'm planning to come to Delport. I'm 24 years old now, turning 25 in a week. Reason for wanting to join? Uh, me and my family were going through some tough time, uh, financially. Yes, the three million dollar reward would help out a lot. Yes, I understand. So yeah, that's it with the flashback and we can move on. So there's a door here that we can go through. And yeah. Another door. Okay. Ashley is nearing the finale for this year's game. Wonderful, isn't it? Honestly, I'm not surprised she's made it this far. The very second I laid my eyes on her, I thought, that's a fighter. And not only physically, it takes a tremendous amount of mental strength to make it to this point. Eh, but enough rant. She's entering the next area. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's go through this door. Okay, so... Some tanks. Interesting. Okay. All of these doors are locked, by the way, so you don't really have to worry about them. And uh, let's go through here. End of the line. This way. And uh, yeah, this is the direction we have to go, but the door seems to be, well, kind of not working, so... Let's attach this panel here, but there isn't any power yet. So let's go turn on the power. And also, you can do either one first. Either attach the panel first, or turn the power on first. So yeah, it doesn't truly really matter which one you do first. Let's go through this door. Uh, there's re really nothing in this. Uh, direction so yeah I don't even know why I showed you guys what's in there because there is nothing there there's some cool lights down there but let's pull the switch here and yeah the music kind of insinuates that the door is openable now Through we go. And along this long hallway and with the door once again. 
Okay, so this is one of the final areas in the game. I mean, I know, this is a short mod, like uh, the previous mod was. Hold up a second. The music is looping, that shouldn't be happening. That's something I gotta fix before I do the final release. Ah, yeah, there's a tape here. Are you kidding me? You actually followed my tapes here? Oh, oh wow, you're gullible. Well, you're probably not going to like this, but you're going to die here. <laughs> Goodbye, Ashley. And yeah, it is a bad guy. Oh. And yeah, let's just exit from this room. Lockdown has been initiated. Will all five emergency switches to lift the lockdown? Uh, yeah. So we, like the PA system said, we need to pull all of these switches to get out of here. And also, there's a monster here. So we gotta be careful. So let's two. There's one here. Three. And let's wait here and see when the monster is gonna come over from there. Because he actually cannot see through these gratings. I know it doesn't make much sense, but. Well, that's how it is. And we can use it in our advantage. Lockdown has been lifted and the exit has been unlocked. And let's go! Excellent! So, in case you got injured, here's a first aid kit as usual. And there's gonna be a chase scene here. You gotta be really careful, cause this guy is actually quite fast, especially when he teleports, so you need to be fast. I'm on prison button! Okay, let's go. And let's keep running. And yeah, we're out. Enjoy your time in the winner's lobby. Feel free to step out the door once you're ready to face the media. But most importantly, congratulations for winning, Ashley. You deserve it. Okay, so here we are in the winner's lobby. Yeah, it's a fancy place, I know. So, there's not much to do here, but if you want to, you can just explore, enjoy the atmosphere, I guess. And, uh, but anyways, I'm just gonna head outside. So, this is a door you want to use, cause you can't actually interact with that one. So, let's go. And there's the media. Sorry for the for the drinking noises. I'm actually drinking water. And yeah, that's it. That's games episode three. Uh, is there anything I want to add before I end this? Let me think. Yeah, sorry if my if my commentary was a bit messed up. Uh, I've actually been sick for like, well, I had a cold, and uh, I haven't been able to record for for a week or so. So my uh, tongue isn't too used to speaking English. So yeah, I might have messed up a few words here and there, but. But yeah, that's it. There's my wonderful cast. 
who all did wonderful. I mean, I'm not talking about myself there. I'm talking about Olivia Steele and Sam Pearson. And yeah, there's the music people and special thanks. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this video helped. This walkthrough helped if anybody was stuck in the game. And yeah, or if you're unable to to actually download and play this mod yourself, I'm hoping you uh, enjoyed my mod. But yeah, thank, uh, thank you guys for watching and bye bye.